Greetings fellow Empyreans, I am Ashrothi, the voice of New Eden, and this is your New Eden News for March 17th, YC125. Concord powers eye trade and technology opportunities amidst isolated wars. Yulai, Genesis. Diplomats and operatives of the Big Four Concord empires are reported to be actively escalating trade negotiations and efforts to acquire new technology, as the two militia war zones and empire militaries adjust to the reality of isolated wars. Ongoing ceasefires, the Caldari Mimitar Treaty of Arakin, and the looming treaty between the Amar and the Galente, seem set to bring lasting end to the old military alliances between both the state and the empire and the Republican Federation. Early indications suggest an increase in trade and investment is set to flow between the empires that will no longer be in a state of limited war due to the obligations of military agreements. Many corporations, business leaders, and trade officials are currently focused on developing new trade links while preserving those with existing interstellar partners. Secure Commerce Commission officials are reported to be providing support to all empires seeking to increase capital investment and financial agreements across interstellar borders. Militarily, the state and republic appear to be focused on increased trade, technology, and security cooperation opportunities as a means to rapidly upgrade and refit their armed forces, while building out new fleets and developing new military technology. For the Empire and Federation, the opportunity most welcome to their large but stretched naval forces is the ability to redeploy and concentrate forces that would otherwise be involved in high levels of patrolling and garrisoning of the lengthy borders between the two great powers. Inner Circle Debates as Capsuleer and Mercenaries Compete for Advanced Technologies Yulai, Genesis Eating Com Intelligence has reported a deep concerning trend of Capsuleers and mercenary involvement at Triglavian technology acquisition and trading, according to a report presented to the Concord Inner Circle by Provost Marshal Cassia Valkanir. The Eating Com analysis of recent activities has identified an alarming spike in activity by mercenaries associated with organized crime groups representing an alliance between renegade Kaldari and Mimitar interests. Eating Com Marshal Valkanir has met with significant criticism for focusing on, quote, so-called Kaldari interests from the state representatives Ishikone CEO Men's Rebla. Memetar Ambassador Kaiten Yun flatly refused to vote to accept the report, stating it is, quote, an attempt by the Amar Empire's Eating Com cat's paws to put a legitimate interest of the Republican state on all fours with their recent exposed espionage efforts, end quote. The Federation Ambassador Devin Malatate expresses displeasure at, quote, the politicalization of Edencom and the vital interstellar regime of technology sharing under the Ulai Accords, end quote. The Federation delegate stated full support of Marshal Valkanir and once more urged a return to technology sharing protocols. The Amar Empire's royal heir Hamade Kador indicated support for the Edencom report, noting, quote, the Federation's position that the Capsuleers may legitimately enforce technology sharing is one that we agree has merit. And indeed, the Amar Empire has all along been working to enforce technology sharing rules in the matter of the so called interstellar shipcaster, along with Edencom and Concord officials. The Holy Amar Empire is, after all, a realm of law and order, as required by our full faith in divine providence. End quote. Amar Galente Non Intervention Treaty on Track for Domestic Ratification. Pashani, Genesis. Royal heir Esra Korazor and Councillor Waiaki Kayara are returning to Amar and Luminaire respectively to present the text of the Treaty of Bishanai as signed by them on behalf of Empress Katis I and President Selis Agard for ratification by the Amar Privy Council and Federation Senate. The Treaty of Non-Intervention between the Amar Empire and Galente Federation was agreed and provisionally signed late yesterday, following several rounds of negotiation. The ceasefire between the 24th Imperial Crusade and Federal Defense Union is now set to become a lasting armistice, just as the cessation of hostilities between the State Protectorate and Tribal Liberation Forces has become formalized by the Treaty of Arakan. The treaty was agreed following the late compromise on sanctions reached between the Federation and Empire. Federation sanctions on institutions of the Amar Empire and its vassal states are to be lifted, along with the reciprocal Amar sanctions. Exemplary sanctions remain on certain named individuals, such as Sadar Marshal Soshan Fayez of the Kana Kingdom and Mentis Black of the Federation Intelligence Office. Notably, negotiators of the Amar Trade Registry are already reported to be meeting with officials from the Federation Customs to discuss easing tariffs and agreeing practical steps towards lifting various of the sanctions both empires impose on one another. News in Brief Third day of relative calm on Antaki Prime as tentative peace holds following weeks of protests and riots. Brutal and extensive battles over pure blind keepstars see over thousands of capsuleer ships lost. Antaki Assembly hires Algental Corps PMC to hunt Anibra assassination cells after rebuffing Mordu's legion. Trillions of isk and structures, ships, and equipment destroyed or looted as capsuleer's war runs hot. Antaki Autonomous Movement demands Federation military leave Antaki Prime for lasting civil peace. Refugees flee destruction of three keepstars and associated structures across Pure Blind. 
Free and Taki Army Splinter Groups ambushes Namatar elite mercenaries in western Akat Fruit Hills. Capsuleer Coalition warlords prepare for further assaults on targets in northern outer regions. Verat Special Military District duties assigned to elite unit from Galente Police Directorate. Concord Emergency Responders and Frontier Safeguards assisting SOE search and rescue in Pureblind. Senator Shalid Ramnev and Kellen Antbad visit Nanoika Textile District to speak to community leaders. Republic Fleet monitoring strange energy discharges detected in atmosphere of Flosis 3. Garistus Pirates steals shipment of biotechnology research tools in transit from Republic 2 State. Blood Raider cult cell in Mishi 4 destroyed by Royal Ulan assault, surviving cultists executed. Kaldari State peacekeepers investigate claims of Sorrow Red Troop and derail commando unit atrocities in Pregolar. Large settlement on Yasad 7 reported loss to antimatter detonation during Sanchez Nation landings. Serpentis Inquest posts record profits for military cyber implants and war clone development divisions. Crash shuttle recovered from Ugali's 3 asteroid mining colony carrying bioadaptive Kaldari in combat armor. Reports claim Angel Cartel and Krulifer Organization peace treaty on Enur as demand rises for contraband through Molten Heath. And that is it for your New Eden News. Today on March 17th, YC125, this has been Ashtarathi, the voice of New Eden. And until next time, I'll see you in space.